Hello, welcome to the Inspiring Facebook page. Welcome to the Inspiring YouTube channel. I'm Amanda Fowler, and it's Tuesday, the 11th of October 2022. So, how are we today? Excuse me, I've got hiccups. If you are joining me live today, can you please uh, let me know if the sound and the light is okay? And if you're watching the replay, thank you so much for joining us. Um, you'll find Craft and Chat throughout all of my channels, and we have 20 minutes or so of chatting, and then we get on to the crafting. And we've got lots of lovely autumnal crafting things going on today. So how are we? Is it nice and sunny where you are? Let me know. Um, yeah, I I got up this morning. Brian, um, often on a Tuesday, goes into, into the office. So um, when I got up this morning, I was um, checking, you know, checking the house out. And we've got like, a, it's called a weather station. It's, it's just like a little, <laughs> a little unit that tells you what the temperature is outside and the temperature inside. And it got down to five degrees last night. So I reckon winter is a coming. Certainly autumn is definitely here, but winter is a coming. Um, I do love autumn. I, I, think, I think probably what it is, is I love the changing of the seasons where we're going from one thing to another. Um, so yeah, I love love all the colours of autumn and the trees and everything, um, which is really lovely. And going for walks when it's cool and crisp, rather than rainy autumn. You know, you can't have everything. You can't have everything. But the sun is shining. Um, I had a lovely uh, doorstep delivery from one of my friends, one of the team members, Michelle. Um, so we just had a chat on the doorstep and it was just glorious, really warm. So let's have a look. Oh, okay. So Lorraine is saying sound is all good, but Anne is saying the sound's a bit crackly. Is it crackly for anyone else? Um, who else is here? Chris and Angela is, are here. Oh, okay. That's several people saying that the sound isn't great. This is my brand new microphone. <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned. Okay. Um, Lorraine is saying it's beautiful in pool. Michelle's here, Karen's here. Hello again, Laura and Jen and Cotton Co. Germany, House of Afternoon, Priscilla and Elizabeth. <gasps> Donna's here from Oz. They have snow. That's crazy. You're going into spring. Why? Why you got no? Stella, hello, hello. Texas is in the house, and hi, Jan. Wow, really busy today. Really, really busy. So, I would love to know what you have got planned for the weekend. I know it's Tuesday, but <laughs> I have a have a topic to chat to you um, about today and one of the things that I think is really important that we all do is have things to look forward to. So what have you got planned? It doesn't have to be at the weekend, it can be you know anytime. Something that you're looking forward to. It can be a big thing, it can be a little thing, it can be I don't know Coffee with a friend, it could be going to the shop to buy some more yarn <laughs> or whatever it is. Let me let me know what you are looking forward to. And importantly, if you're thinking, hmm, 
I don't know what I've got to look forward to this week. Write in something that you're going to put into place. Maybe call up a friend and go out for cake because, you know, everything is wrapped up with cake. So, oh dear. Okay. I am really worried about the sound. Uh, so I am I am plugged in to the internet. All of my cables are okay. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. right, I've changed the setting. Let's see if the setting is any better. Can you let me know? Um, right. So Laura is looking forward to her stamping up delivery this afternoon. That's awesome. Stella is going to try and find the floor in her classroom and trying a new coffee shop called Nutshells in the town. Awesome. Do report back next weekend <laughs> as to how the new coffee shop is. Scylla is looking forward to the Christmas retreat. Everything is out ready. So uh, for those of you that don't know, it's my annual Christmas retreat this weekend. And all the packages have arrived from everybody. Everything is all good to go. I'm very excited. So we kick off on a Friday evening. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. For those of you that missed out, there is going to be a kind of replay option, an on-demand class. Um, but I've got to do a bit of tweaking to get it ready for that. So it will be coming, um, but not straight away. Um, okay, so we've got we've got inconsistent messages about the sound. Um, okay, so Chris has just suggested. I move away from the microphone. So I've moved the microphone away. I'm staying sat, but um, let's see. Maybe that will work. Lorraine is super excited about Christmas retreat as well. That's awesome. Um, Sandra's looking forward to adding some bits and bobs to her autumn wreath. So that's cool, isn't it? Brilliant. Okay, so um, as far as the um, stamping up world goes, I have a few uh, things to talk to you about. Um, the first is the joining offer, the awesome joining offer, is still running, runs throughout October. And you can join my team for £99. And uh, you can pick £154 worth of product. Um, no postage to pay. You get catalogues and order forms and things, and you can pick whatever items that you want. Um, you will get a minimum of a 20% discount uh, for the time that you stay as a demonstrator. So very exciting. Um, in, in, it's very exciting welcoming new team members. Um, so if it's something that you've thought about or that you might be interested in, you can always send me, I've got pick up again, send me an email, amanda at inspiringinkin.com and um, I either give me a phone number or put your questions in the message and I'll either call you or email you back, whichever is um and i can answer all of your questions so let's just 
take that banner away. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Elizabeth has turned her volume down a bit and that helps. <laughs> I'm not so loud. I am loud in real life though. So, you know, not surprising through your computer, I'm a bit loud too. Okay. So that was the first thing that I need to tell you about in the world of stamping up. The next thing, and this is really important, next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Stamping Up are doing their annual stock take. What does that mean for us? It means get your order in this week. So for anyone who is planning on ordering in the next two weeks, do it this week. Because basically what happens is Stamping Up will pick all the orders that come through kind of through Friday over the weekend. Then they'll stop picking orders on Tuesday. No orders will get picked Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday. And in theory, so long as everything goes perfectly well with the stock take, can you hear the tiny amount of doubt? I used to be a stock taker. I've had so many different jobs in my world, but I used to be a stock taker. And stock taking is a hard job and it doesn't always go to plan. So, in theory, the stock take will be finished and they'll start picking orders again on Friday. But they've had three days with no picking of orders. So, the reality is, you place an order after Friday this week. It's not going to be picked till the end of the following week or even the beginning of the week after that. And I don't know about you, but that's too long to wait for my um for my ooh! right. Okay. Bear with me, I've just tipped tea everywhere. <laughs> Oh, right. That was a bit ridiculous. It's because I'm wafting my hands around. Okay. So. Oh. Let me just clear up the tea. Honestly, I shouldn't talk so much with my hands. Right, okay. Okay, so let's see. Um, right, so yes, so waiting an extra 10 days, way too many days for me to wait for my order. So if you want to place an order, then get it in sooner rather than later. Now got damp all over my all over my work. Oh, eek. Okay. Um I'm sorry, Chris. Um Chris is really struggling with the sound. I'm really <laughs> I'm so frustrated by this because it was great last week and none of the settings have been changed. So I'm kind of really a loss as to what to do um so for everyone else can you just put in the comments is it really bad so Stella's saying the sound's good with her i'm getting all the i'm bouncing off satellites to get to stella because <laughs> she's in texas it's so strange so strange okay all right well I will carry on um, unless unless I get you know, hundreds of messages that all say that it's, it's rubbish. I'm really sorry. Okay, I'm sorry for those of you that have done that. So lots of people saying the sound is not as good as last week. Okay. So 
Right. I've got something else I can twiddle. So I'm going to put the thing back and then. Okay. So I've turned another button all the way down. So that's all the way down. And now I've put it kind of halfway. So let's see. All the way down, halfway. Ugh. Okay. I think what I'm going to have to do is play with some recordings and see if I can do that. Lots of people are saying turning their sound down is helping. So let's see. Okay. So there was something that I wanted to talk to you about today, which is kind of related to stress. <laughs> you have to like a little bit that I'm going through right now. Um, so you may know yesterday was world mental health day and it's a day in which it's just really important to talk about uh your mental health well-being and to raise awareness and one of the things that i always say is is your mental health is part of your health your your physical health and your mental health are they are combined and it is a really important that we look after all aspects of ourselves and if you remember way back when, when I first started Craft and Chat, which was in the very first um, lockdown, series of lockdowns with COVID, we talked a lot about self-care. It was one of the things that we, we chatted about often. And I've been talking to family and friends and team members over the past couple of weeks and the same kinds of things are kind of coming through people are again feeling very overwhelmed and um very anxious or even a little bit anxious about what's going on in the world the war in ukraine the um cost of living going up crazy everywhere in the world the issues that we're we're having um, here in Europe with heating and gas and electric and the prices going up and, and you know it, we switched on the news last week and they were saying they were talking about we might have to have blackouts, which you know haven't happened here in in the UK since the seventies, and it all feels a bit much, and. As well as that, everybody I know is dealing with other things, whether that ill health, whether that caring responsibilities and looking after somebody else, whether that um, supporting friends and family with things that they're going through. And it kind of feels a lot. There's a lot going on. So I kind of just wanted to talk a little bit about self-care today. And I know we've talked about this before, but I actually um, got a definition up. And this, this is the best definition I've found. And it basically says, self-care is the practice of taking an active role in protecting one's own well-being, health, nutrition, and happiness, in particular in times of stress. So the big bit to take out of that sentence is an active role and protecting health, nutrition, well-being, happiness. So that definition is saying to me, and I'm saying to you, 
<laughs> are you taking an active role in taking care of you? And um, my guess is, for most of us, probably not, as well as we should be doing. There will be a few of you out there who have got this nailed, I'm sure. Um, but for many of us, uh, we're kind of at the bottom of the list when it comes to, you know, taking time out or looking after ourselves. And I really think it's time that we started being more active. And the word, the word protecting, protecting our health, nutrition, well-being and happiness actually really resonated with me. Um, you'll hear me say often one of the, one of the, I don't know, one of my key phrases, that's so trite, it? but you know what I mean, is you can't pour from an empty teapot. Not possible. You know, if you have given of yourself to everybody else and to everything else, if there's nothing left, you're not going to be any good to anyone. So I think it's time that we take a time out for ourselves. And that could be anything. And does anyone have any kind of self-care things that they do that really help them? I know this morning um, I was talking to my team about this. We were talking about some people do meditation and bake and others. It's crafting that really works for them. Um, I love taking my cup of coffee out into the garden and just sitting in the sunshine. Um, just 10 minutes away from, you know, the ping of notifications and, and you know, the phone ringing and, and all of that. Just to take 10 minutes is sometimes really important. It just gives you a little bit of space to reset. Other people uh, talked about, um, you know, watching their favorite series on Netflix or reading a book or going for a walk. Um, and that's why at the beginning of today's chat, I asked you, what are you looking forward to? And I think that actually, we really need to add in things for us to look forward to because we are in this whole scenario, I guess, at the moment, where every time you turn on the news or you're talking to people, everything kind of feels doomy and gloomy. Um, and you need something to lift your mood and lift where you are and how you're feeling. So let's see what we can do. Now, my comments have all stopped, which either means you're listening intently, bless you, <laughs> or the website's crashed. Could be either. I could be here talking to myself. I hope not. <laughs> I hope that. That you're listening um and you know it's making you think which sometimes we just need somebody to point out the obvious don't we um for me my bit of self-care this week was to say i'm going back to yoga on friday now you may know i've talked about yoga before um for well for a long time a couple of years i've been going to yoga twice a week and it's been a non-negotiable in my diary that i always go to yoga and things really went a bit crazy <laughs> in my world about six months ago and about four months ago yoga was the thing that had to go because i needed those four hours during the day to actually get through so many different things. Um, that I just I couldn't I couldn't fit it in. But this morning, uh, yet Monday morning, 
I set my intention that nothing was going to stop me from going to yoga on Friday. So right at the top of my to-do list for the week was Friday yoga. Um, and it doesn't matter what I'm going to do this week, but I am going to go to yoga this week. Um, and, you know, on Sunday, Brian and I, we had loads of stuff to do in the house. <laughs> There's always stuff to do, isn't there? But we went to the beach. And we were only there an hour. It takes us 10 minutes to get there, 10 minutes to get back. Um, so we're only out of the house for an hour and a half tops. But it was so good to go and sit and just watch the waves go by. And, and we walked quite a long way as well whilst we were there. So, yeah. So I am looking forward to the retreat at the weekend. Good to be lots of fun. Um, and then, yeah, I, I, I'm actually, so the next thing, now I've got my, now I've got my Friday yoga back in the system, crochet, crochet's the next thing on the list. So that's really exciting. Um, so for any of you that are struggling, and I say this from the bottom of my heart, please know that we care about you. This this crafting community that we have here in the crafting um, in in craft and chat is just so awesome. And do reach out. Um, do talk to people. Um, let let your friends and family know if you're struggling. Let them know. What is it? A problem shared is a problem halved. Um, but try and add in something for you, something to be actively protecting your self-care. And then there's there's one um, quote um, that I'm going to share with you. It's from Maya Angelou. And if you've never read any of her work, then please go read it. Um, but it's something something that I hold very dear and something that gets me through the toughest of times. And she says that every storm runs out of rain. So it doesn't matter where you are in your storm, eventually the rain will stop. So it's quite deep chat today. Um, I can see a million, <laughs> a million messages kind of coming up. But I just felt that it was really important. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of tough out there. But, you know, we're better together. And crafting makes everything better. And I've got some fun crafting for you now. So let me just have a quick read of these messages. Um, lots of people saying that they're still listening and listening intently and the sound has settled down. <laughs> Deb was saying, she says once the sun comes up, she'll be drinking her morning coffee on the front porch. Thank you for chatting about this, Amanda. And honestly, isn't that so important? We need to talk about things. Oh, yes. Bella says she has lovely friends who message each day and we keep in touch. And it's lovely to know that people care about you and lift your spirit. So Anne is saying it's for her, it's shutting the door on post-flood of rebuild mess and going for a walk along the beach. Exactly. And sometimes just shutting the door or packaging up issues or so on sometimes just putting things to one side can really help <laughs> oh carton coach she says she only understands half of what i say um but my good mood always infects her well i am so pleased for that about that Lots of love for Maya Angelou. 
lots of walking, lots of good messages. And Jan lost me, but she's found me again. Damn it, lost me and then she's found me again. Okay, so, yeah, you got this. Yes, we have. Okay, I've got hiccups now. <laughs> going to be a disaster right i am going to switch the cameras let's see can you hear and see me. Just getting rid of the T. Okay. So, um, today I am going to go all all terminal, and I'll be using this stamp set it's called Soft Speedling. It's a distinctive stamp set, which basically means, can you see, you'll be able to when I stamp it in a minute, there's lots of texture in the stamp and gradient of colour. And then there's something up here that you might have missed. So this is on page 53 of the Autumn Winter Mini Catalogue. And it's called the Leaf Hall 3D Embossing Builder. So that's what we're going to be using today. So let's get started with this. Get some. Oh. So, so here is the embossing folder. I'm going to show it to you actually embossed. I always write on them or put a sticky label on them to know what they're called. Um, just because you can't all you can't always tell when they're kind of lying around. Um, and it just helps me work out which one is which. So this is what it looks like. Embossed on white. So, you'll find that some of the leaves are more shallow, shallowly embossed and some are really deeply embossed. And if I put that there, I'm hoping that you can see. So, it's called Leaf Fall and above my hand, diagonally, is, the, is embossing and then this side is blank. So it is designed to look like falling leaves. Um, but I've actually done it on a piece of, hold on there, look how cool that is. Um, so there are all kinds of techniques that you could do with this on white. You could ink it up, you could use your pastels, sponge daubers, color it, all sorts of things. I might do that another day. Um, and I just wanted to use it as it as it comes. I've got an old olive card blank as well, and then I've got my stamp already mounted. Look at the beautiful imagery on that. So let's just stamp the inside, and I'm seriously just going simple <laughs> really simple today for this for this card so it's really pretty but does anyone else like autumn or for my friends around the world fall which I have to say is a much more descriptive word than autumn. Right. I'm going to have to really squeeze this. It's not coming out. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Anne saying, the sound is fine now, so whatever I did worked. Interesting. Yeah, there we go. Interesting. Mainly what I did was move the microphone even further away. So maybe uh, that's what we need to do. Okay, so um, I've got, obviously I've got, that's my layer on the inside. Um, this is quite a big stamp. Now, normally when I ink up, this is how I ink up the stamp. But when I get to bigger stamps, I do take the ink pad and tap it all over. And to be honest, with a distinctive stamp like this, it tends to be a little bit better to do it that way because you get more even coverage. And I'm just going to pop that down. Give it a little press. Again, a big stamp. So give it a second or two. To transfer. And look at that. Look at the depth of colour and the shading and so on. Really. Okay, so I'm going to mount that on top of there. Some dimensionals. And then I'm just going to stamp a sentiment and chop it down. Donna is saying autumn's her favourite. Margaret's enjoying the autumn colours at the moment. Let me just see. And I am just popping that down there. There we go. Love that sentiment. Thinking of you is such an awesome sentiment because it can be for so many different reasons. There we go. There's the finished card. So you can see you've got the texture up here and down this side. You've got that beautiful stamped image. And then, you know, this is why I'm a stamper, because I couldn't draw or paint that kind of thing. And I love this scripty thinking of you. Awesome. Okay, so really quick and um, simple card. And then we're going to go a bit more technical next. So let's just... Clean that off. Right. And we are going to go full on autumn colours now. Now that's kind of nice fresh colours. Now we're going to go full autumn. So the colours that I've got are Cherry Cobbler, Crushed Curry, Old Olive, and Pumpkin Pie. And I've got lots of card blanks and layers because the theory, <laughs> theory is I'm going to make four cards. We'll see. My plan. So this is a technique I have shown you before, but not for ages. Um, it involves baby wipes. Now, baby wipes, lots of people have a love-hate relationship with baby wipes. It is really important 
that these never go down the toilet because they cause all kinds of issues in the British plumbing system. So don't put them down the toilet. Um, but you can use these again and again and again. So I've got a, an old stamp case, but you can use a plate, whatever you want. And you want to layer up your wet wipe. Three or four layers is best and make sure that the stamp you're going to use is sort of covered. And then you want reinkers. Now I have a plea about reinkers. It's one of those things that when, when I see orders coming in for ink pads and the person ordering has bought a reinker, I do a little happy dance. So if you want to think that I'm doing a happy dance, you buy an ink pad, buy the reinker, obviously not that one, but the matching one, at the same time. Because I can guarantee if you don't, your ink pad will be too dry to do the project that you are desperate to do. And the other thing is, if you've got reinkers, you can do loads of techniques with them. And yeah, it's just really important to have your, your reinkers. And the worst thing about things as well is when Stampin' Up! changed the colours, if you haven't got the right reinker for your ink pad, then the ink pad dies a slow death because <laughs> eventually it runs out of ink. Um, so I've got reinkers in those colours. So we've got crushed curry, pumpkin pie, old olive and cherry cobbler. And what we're going to do is we are going to drip ink on the top of these, on the top of the wet wipe. Now, um, go more sparingly with the darker colours and more generously with the lighter colours. Don't worry if they touch or overlap. You do want them to touch. You actually don't want to see white. You want the colours to sort of blend in together. Um, and it might look like you're doing a lot, but these reinkers go a long way. Mum's just arrived. Did you have a nice lunch? She was out with her friends for lunch today. Um, how's your hand? The carpal tunnel done. <laughs> So no crafting for you. You just have to watch. Okay, so there we go. That's pretty much the whole thing covered. Do you want to see the magic now? Because honestly, it is magic. I'm going to take a full sheet of A4, basic white card. And I didn't bring my big sheet of red paper upstairs. So I'm just going to have to do a bit of overlapping. Lynn's here. Hello, hello. Lynn's one of my oldest friends. Not that she's old, it's just I've known her for a very long time. We travelled the world together. How are you doing, lovely? we go okay so this is now an ink pad a multiple multi-color ink pad and what i'm going to do is I'm going to ink up my stamp when you're inking up your stamp don't move oh yeah don't twist the stamp too much because it'll muddy the colors you want to do up and down straight up and down so let's just Plonk that right there. Okay. 
<laughs> Look at that. Amazing. How cool is that? Okay. So what we're going to do is cover the whole sheet with these images. And you will see every single leaf is going to be different. Now, this works beautifully with a leaf stem, obviously, because, because, because you've got multiple stamps but you can do this with flower stamps it will work really well um be careful with your colors obviously don't um don't muddy your colors by using um lots of greens and reds because you will end up with brown Nearly there. Margaret said this is amazing. It is one of my favorite techniques ever, Margaret. I tell you. Oh, I love it. Right. So I'm just going to use a little speed link and just add a few more here and there. Fill in these gaps. Ooh. Now, depending, let me bring this up so you can see. Look at the, the beautiful colors on there. Now, depending on, um, what kind of shading and so on you would like. You can um, carry on with this and you could probably get another one or even two sheets done. Um, but the other option is to you to uh, use this now to put some ink on on paper. So you can actually now, use that to make a background. And I know it's not that special now. <laughs> and some of you will be going, oh, I'm doing your making a mess. Um, but honestly, when it's dry, you'll see it really gives a really interesting background um if you're going to go away and not use this for a while you could put it like in a ziploc bag um but you're not going to be able to add more reinker to it because you won't necessarily put it in the right spots so if i show you there's a background that i did earlier so you can quite clearly see the divide, defined spots. So it just depends on how um, if your background kind of goes. Um, but obviously, that is what we're working with. So mum's, ah oh yeah, so mum's got a boxing glove style um, bandage and things on her hand. So that's going to come off tomorrow. So that'll be easier. Lynn's got COVID. Darn, Lynn. There's a lot of it about at the moment. Margaret's saying it's amazing. Lorraine saying it's a lovely idea for snowflakes. It is, Lorraine. And different shades of blues, and blues and purples works really, really well. Works great, like I said, for leaves and trees. Anne was saying that when she was little, she used to call those seedlings aeroplanes. Yes, indeed. Right. So, 
let's chop this down now so we can use it to make the cards. So. And you'll see as this dries, the colours just kind of soften, I'm all muted. So there we go. So we've got some scraps there. And we've got four layers. So let's play around with these. Ooh. I've cut those wrong, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not paying attention to my sizes. Move that away. Try that again. Okay. So what I'm going to do is mat and layer these all on different shades. <laughs> and then you'll, you'll see all of the different colours will kind of pop. And you can kind of see which which variation you like the best. This is a great technique and a great way of making multiples. And you're going to see that I am going to make these all into birthday cards. And get them ready to go okay so that one with that one nope That one. And that's going to go with that one. Perfect. <laughs> so, as always, the awesomeness of Stamping Up's coordination means that I've used the ink colours and the cardstock in the same four colours, and they just all work together. Lorraine, your Christmas retreat box has just arrived. Goodness me. That's really delayed. Oh, oh my goodness me. I'm really pleased it's arrived. Um, most of them arrived on Friday. Wow. It's good that it's here. Right, so I have got two of my favourite, <laughs> two of my favourite stamp sets. So a grand kid for the happy birthday and peaceful moments for the happy birthday. So one's kind of more blocky and the other one is more scripty. And the reason that I've chosen the two of them is because I wasn't sure where on the card I was going to stamp birthday so for this one i'm actually going to stamp it up here so 
And this one, I'm going to stamp it down here in the bottom. So it's actually got to go over the leaves. So by having the more blocky happy birthday, it will work better over the top, like so. Um, I think this one is going to go just here. And then this one, I'm going to go right over the top of this much deeper colour. There we go. Let me just cover that up. And let's get all four of those cards here. Let me just bring that in so you can. Oh, let me just pop them. There we go. So, four cards. <laughs> Just using one technique and one simple card. So, there you go. Super quick technique. Obviously, these little bits here. I'm going to snip those up and decorate the insides of the card. So I will do that off camera um, because you don't want to waste these little bits. Um, but a really great way of making multiple, multiple cards. Oh, snap. <laughs> snap, Margaret. <laughs> we said exactly the same thing at the same time. Ah, oh, that's funny. Um, but Going back to what I was talking about earlier about, you know, self-care and being kind to yourself, maybe just doing some of that beautiful stamping just a little bit and having those sheets ready to make multiple cards or when you've got a bit more time is, is just a nice thing to do. And it's so much fun with your reinkers doesn't take very long. Um, for those of you that have other crafting uh, things, um, hang on, I've got re cut on my hands. So just the green. I obviously, old olive, I obviously didn't put the lid on properly. Let me just fix that, otherwise I'm going to end up with green fingers. Um, You look like the Hulk. So, um, yeah, so it's great to have um, some, some papers already made. And then when you've got a bit more time, you can do, you can, you can make, make multiple cards. Um, but, yeah, so sometimes it's really nice. Let's have a look. Lot, lots of love for the cards. Thank you. And and so easy. So just when you're doing colours, when you're picking your colours, stick with colours that are similar. Or quite often what works really well is colours that are all similar. So like all blues or all pinks or purples. Um, just be aware of colour mixing. So your blues and your yellows will make green, brown, uh, green and red will make brown, which isn't a problem here on the leaves. But if you're trying to do flowers and things, that's less, less easy. Um, but if you are a crafter with multiple sort of crafting things, you can use a piece of felt. Um, instead of instead of a wet wipe, you could use a piece of felt. You will have to try it out though, because some felt is quite fluffy and it will mess up um, the image of your stamp because the fluff will get on it. Um, that's why I tend to use wet wipe because it doesn't kind of leave any fluff. 
Brilliant. Okay, I am thrilled that you have enjoyed today's craft and chat. All of the products that you've seen today are available in my online store. You can uh, purchase them by popping over to my blog, which is www.inspiringenglish.com and some clickable links there. If you're on YouTube, uh, you'll need to click the see more. And the same with Facebook, you kind of have to scroll down and then you'll be able to see clickable links. And I will be back here next week, next Tuesday. That will be, oh, the 18th of October. Now, remember, 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 if you're placing an order in the next two weeks, do it this week before Friday. Because then you will make sure, or it will make sure that your order will be with you quickly as opposed to getting kind of tied up with the stamping up stock check that is happening next week. Okay, so take care and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.